TD-090D cordless impact driver. Forward, reverse, has an LED light to light up the work area. Quarter inch chuck. Small compact 10.8 volt lithium ion battery. The TD-090D Makita impact driver. Also, you get the DF-030D drill slash driver. Features the uh, LED light to light up the work area, the quarter inch chuck. This tool has a, an adjustable clutch right down to, to control the torque, right down to a direct drive for drilling. Speed one, speed two. Forward and reverse, plus the same 10.8 volt lithium ion battery. The DF-030D. Also included in the LCT-203W is the automatic battery charger for 7.2 through 10.8 volt lithium ion batteries with the LED annunciator panel. Plus, you get the operator's manual for both tools plus the operator's manual for the battery charger. Okay, to look at these two separately now, this is the TD-090D impact driver. Lithium ion, 10.8 volts. And this is a PTO fluid pump. Needs taken apart. Hasn't been taken apart for 14 years. This is a half inch socket. I'm going to put it into the chuck. Ready to go. We'll put him on re reverse. In, in reverse. Six bolts. I'm gonna put them back in now. TD-090D, very capable impact driver with only a 10.8 compact lithium ion battery. This is the DF-030D two-speed drill slash driver. For the first example, I'm going to drill this piece of aluminum with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Now this is a two-speed drill driver, speed one, speed two. Speed one is 350 RPM, zero to 350. Speed 2 is 0 to 1300 RPM, and I have the clutch set for drill at 1300 RPM. You'll notice I have the part clamped. This does a really neat job on a piece of aluminum. Now I'm going to try a quarter inch drill bit on the same piece, same speed. No problem with that either. Here is the Makita DF-030D two-speed drill bit with a 5 8 inch paddle bit still set at 1300 RPM set for drilling. I'm going to drill through this 2x6. Sometimes it's hard to drill with, but for this Makita 10.8 volt drill, drilling through the 2x6 with a 3 with a 5 8 inch paddle bit was no problem at all. Now last I have a comparison test between the impact driver and the drill driver. I have two 
three inch deck screws already started in this piece of six by six pressure treated. I'm going to drive one with the impact driver first. I'm going to go in forward. Done. That's the TDO90D impact driver. Now I have the DFO30D drill slash driver. Two speed, and I'm going to leave it set on 1300 RPM. I'm going to leave the clutch on 18 and see what happens. This is the drill driver. Okay, the clutch ratcheted just before it put it in. I have a quarter inch left. I'm going to put it on direct drive. Back it back out. Now I'm going to put it in with direct drive. Sunk it right in. You notice that while the drill is a quite a bit faster driving the deck screw, the impact driver results in much less torque res uh, resulting back to the operator. So in an unusual position, the, the impact driver might be best for driving a deck screw. But in a straight up and down mode, the DFO30 drill also drives a screw really well. This brand new and really neat Makita 10.8 volt lithium ion combo kit is available at www.tylertool.com. Just tell them you saw it on YouTube and they'll give you $10 off of the price. Just enter the coupon YouTube at the checkout page and www.tylertool.com will see that you get $10 off of your price. That's www.tylertool.com.